Salvis Nation. Man like me. Man like Ricky, you said. My brother. You good? Bless. My guy. Long time. Yeah. Right. We're it's here. been a long time, we're but here. we're here. We're That's here. it. That's it. Finally, my 116i. Filmed a little while back, but full conversion's been done. Some of you have probably been following D. You can start. You can let yeah. us know. It. Firstly, I apologise for the length of time that's no. taken. I've had a few hiccups. I've moved. You can see I'm in a new, new unit. base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's been a lot of change at Salvage Nation, but keep it moving is my mantra and that's exactly yes. what we did and this thing i'm excited to show you i'm excited for you lot to see what it looks like just a reminder guys full m2 conversion i have seen the car already we just filmed for these channels so i'll try to get you a little reaction yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's show them the car in it d all right cool bro give me a hand oh have so, a look yeah. at this guys come but on let's your orange front end white midsection <laughs> gray rear ends the main thing guys was these M2 rear arches, the idea is we want a big fat wheel on this car. M2 rear arches enables you to put a 305, so a 10 and a half, 11J wheel. Yeah. So we're gonna get a shitload of traction on this car. And bro, let me tell you, you may have seen the, the videos on these channel, you may have seen photos. In real life, this looks insane. <laughs> Show them the, um, like, look at the wheel. Like, you can see the stock wheel. Look at how much extra cap there is Remember, there. Remember, that man. was flush before. Yeah, that was flush, yeah. yeah. Look at that. So yeah, the car looks mad, D. You've absolutely smashed Thank it. Thank you, brother. Thank you. And it uh, took a while, but it, I hope it's worth the wait. Yeah, 100%. And for anyone with a critical eye, yeah. you may notice some arch gaps and stuff like this. It's not bolted all the yeah, way down. Yeah. So I knew that you're taking the car to get painted. Yeah. There's no point in lining it all up perfectly yeah. because it's all going to come off yes. to go into paint. So if anyone's watching, all it is is loosen up all the nuts at the front, tighten yeah. up here, and that's going to be done yeah, once you yeah, get the car that's fine. Bro, like, this wow. must have been a nightmare. Yes, it has been a nightmare. And two rear arches when I'm fucking... This has been done before, once yeah. or twice, but, but not, not, not way, documented. Not the way yeah. we've done it and mm -hmm. documented everything. Yes. And you know what? You're saying about M2 rear quarters, but I'm even more proud of... We've turned this car from a manual to auto. Yeah. Right? We've turned this car from a 114i to a B58 power plant. Yeah, you started the car just now. Yeah, Did you yeah, see any engine yeah. lights? Nah, Is it nothing. running funny? Yeah. It runs perfectly. Everything on the car works as it should. Mm -hmm. And on the interior, we just yeah, gave you a little, we yeah, got a little yeah, surprise. Yeah, yeah. Guys, the camera. Let me the show extra a mile. So yeah, have a look at this. Yeah. So man like D. Wet the extra Wait mile. Slap man, a custom LLF mm. embroidery on the dash. And look, this is all Alcantara. If you know the CS as well, this is how they come. Proper OEM looking. And he's also done Alcantara down here. Yep. And I will be doing an Alcantara dash. And this car, the seat's out. This car will be got a door car. Everything's coming out, guys. This is a lightweight. And before you come out, have a look. You, you've done the yeah, M2, M2 clocks dolls as well. As well. Yeah, yeah, guys, yeah. Guys, we haven't stopped. M2 clocks as well to go with the M2 quarters, M2 yeah. front end, B58 platform. B58 business, LLF business, <laughs> Salvage Nation business, come on. You smashed it, Pete. <laughs> Bro, what a job. So yeah, yeah D, he did a conversion himself. He had a, what was it, a 116 as well? Yeah, 116i 116 to 114. No, 116i yeah. to M140. Yeah. But bro, this has been... Rear bumper. Yeah. We, we, this is just another level. Yeah. On the rear bumper, I will give you your props on camera. I've given them to you off camera. Yeah, yeah. You insisted that you wanted to use an M2 rear yeah. bumper. Yeah. And I told you it wasn't going to fit, but we found a way to make it fit. If I open this up, it fits perfectly. Everything looks the way it should. Yeah. But we're keeping all the features of the M2. And if you go down here, you've mm -hmm. got that carbon fiber M2 rear diffuser. Yeah. Big LLF. And big it just, LLF. It, just Come look, on. it looks big. It just <laughs> looks, it looks, it looks the part. It looks really yeah. good. Man, it looks sick, man. And then by the time you're done with it, it's going to have the power yeah, to match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, guys, this is just the beginning. I ain't even told you what engine's going in this. It's obviously going four wheel drive. Yeah. Next step is going to be to sort out the interior before the spray job. I already mentioned on your channel anyway. Yeah. I'm going to go over frozen white. That's a 95% decision right now. But okay. last second, you guys watching now, if it's not been sprayed, throw down some ideas. But I think a frozen white will look nice. Uh, we're going to go over like a BBS FIR style wheel. And as mentioned, this is going to be running some serious horsepower. Forget the Touring, forget the M240. This is going to be the car, <laughs> like, trust me. <laughs> We're going super lightweight. We want to get that power to weight up. I'm looking forward to it. And we want to run big power. Let's show them the B58 as well. So, yeah, yeah we do have a small niggle as well. So the engine, sorry, the car previously was flipped, wasn't it? So, yes, that's the breaker um, car. The breaker the car breaker we got car, all the yeah. parts from was yeah. flipped. 
So once we got the engine, first of all, it wasn't that big a job to get it all swapped in. But mm. once we got the engine in, I realized that the Valvetronic system wasn't working. And just yeah. so you guys can see and to show you, this is the Valvetronic motor that runs directly to the engine ECU. So I went through quite a lot of fault finding, testing. And what I found was I swapped out that ECU that you've got in there for yeah. another ECU. If you look up there, we've got M140 that yeah, is running, yeah, yeah. that is fully fine. I took the ECU from there, I swapped it. And as soon as I plugged it up, Fine. it started working. Wicked. So that tells me that the ECU's got a problem. It's not a wiring issue. It's either an ECU internal problem or ECU software problem. But your engine ECU's got a tiny problem. I've seen some people from your channel commenting as well. The Valvetronic is not, let me just say, it's not an issue. It's not going to affect the running of the engine. The yeah. only thing is, yeah. the Valvetronic makes it a little bit more fuel efficient. Right. So, so it still runs fine. It still it, runs completely a, fine. You've still got full power. But this engine's coming out anyway. Exactly. Bro. We've got exactly. a whole new engine uh, going in this. Perfect. So you did the um, ZF swap, ZF suspension, swap, subframe. Suspension, fucking bro, everything. this is literally everything. Listen, if you haven't seen car. the build, go <laughs> check it out. Even back here, we removed every single brake component. So if you look over there, that's the yeah. ABS pump. That's from an M140. Yeah. The steering rack is from an M140. So I was saying to you, when you put it in sport, you're still going to get that stiffened steering wheel. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. When you put it in comfort, it's still, yeah. it's variable, it's yeah, adjustable. Yeah. Exactly, there's nothing. I really want to see you drive this car. You've mm -hmm. driven a fair few M140s and yeah. I want you to see or to test. Does it feel like an M140? Does yeah. it drive like an M140? Because I think it does. Bro, that rear is looking <laughs> mad. <laughs> I know. Guys, I know. Like, you know, I've seen photos, I've seen the post, the videos that these done, but seeing that in person yeah. with the it, stock it it wheel, it that is mad. Yeah. Bro, Come look back, at even look the at front. It. Like, we can fit a much bigger wheel on there. Bro, that is crazy. So, yeah, we're going Perspex windows. Bro, I can't wait. This is my fucking baby, bro. This is going to be the mad thing. Absolute madness. Big LLF, shout out to Sambo. I'm just trying to think what else can we mention, D? Obviously, firstly, D's in his new, new workshop unit, now. Guys, Look, new pure BMs. You know what? Because of your <laughs> channel, I've had so many of you guys asking how much can you do it. Guys, DM me if you're interested. If you're genuinely interested and you want to do a similar job to what we've done with Ricky's car here, reach me at salvage underscore nation on Instagram. The car's not literally not been driving, so the, the key is saying it needs a new battery. Come on, B58 and that. Yeah. Look at it that, starts, M2 it dials. everything goes away. Just an airbag light on, as he said, we just got to change the ECU. Anybody watching, if you want a B58 engine, let me know. This engine's for sale, gearbox is for sale as well. And this Alcantara Touch D is sick as well, man. Man, I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. I never told you about that for ages, no, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks nice. And guys, if you want to get any of that Alcantara work or the CS style embroidery on your interior, check out Valentino at VPET Trims. He sponsored Ricky here. He said, you know what? I really like the project. I'm going to do this free of charge. Yeah. He said he's I appreciate and, it if you're watching, bro. Yeah. Respect, man. So, Valentino, thank that. you. Yeah, he came down, he Smashed grabbed it, it, he done it, he dropped it off. Hi, right, D. Yeah, brother. My bro. I'm it's been a long time, it. man. I know. Yeah, a very long time. I know, but I'm glad. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see you in your new location as well, thank man. You've got your own workshop now. We're still setting up, there's still tons yeah. of work to do in here, but. Mm -hmm. Listen, I work, get busy. Man. Got work, in it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, man's got work. So, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, first drive. Let's go, champ. Oh shit. What's that noise, D? Well, what is flapping underneath this car right now? What is that, maybe? I ain't no mechanic. But that looks like the symptom to me. Gorilla tape holding the windows in. Not gonna be able to drive it too fast. Yeah, that noise is not ideal, is it really? Fuck it, no, I've got fucking beetles on me. You've got beetles living in there and that. Jesus. So for those of you that don't know, this has actually had a manual gearbox before, so D's actually swapped to ZF box. As you can see, it's driving with no faults right now. We've got no 
dodgy lights only an airbag sign but yeah look gears are changing let's pull it into sport and see what happens five four yeah responding pretty quick we've got the m2 dials okay she's she's pretty nippy lads just wanted to give it a small little drive whoa can't see got b58 in it this was a 116i people the subframes installed the suspension the div the gearbox the engine and i know some of you have been questioning like why would you do this ricky why wouldn't you just buy an m140 buy a crash one or something and if i could go back i probably would have just bought an m140 to be fair just for saving time and also i didn't know it would cost six seven grand to spray a car if i knew that i would not have even bothered yeah it's pretty quick get on the brakes so yeah we have a vanos issue with this engine so i do have an ecu back at the unit now so i've got somebody coming down to code the new ecu tomorrow and they'll be sent off to get some more work done it's actually crazy isn't it that everything's just been swapped out into this car and we are now driving basically an m140 all of these sport buttons here apparently still work yep sport blast look traction off as i say we have the diff from an m140 have a listen M2 dials look sick. Nice little touch that. Last second I was like, nah, 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 let's get them M2 dials in. Just add to the whole sort of M2 theme that we've done with the car. We are back at the unit. Before we get into it, actually, floor, check it out. Swiss tracks, garage style. Thank you, bro, if you're watching. So these guys absolutely killed it. Done me a wicked deal on a Swiss tracks floor. Looks so much better in photos and much better to keep clean as well. We've got like this Tomcat cleaning machine anyway. It looks way better. It's a little bit dirty. As I say, you still have to clean it. It looks cleaner for longer. We have cars coming in and out all the time. But anyway, on to the one series. So obviously there's still a lot of work that needs to be done with this M2 converted one series. This, for the record, is going to be a fast, fast, fast street car it's not a drag car it's not a race car it's a fast street car but obviously to achieve those fast times we're going to need to strip this car meaning the cabin is being gutted the only problem i have is i hate that gutted look people start to say also that oh look it's a drag car it's a race car so i'm trying to maintain a, a, a good looking cabin which is why the company i booked it in for which i'll introduce you another time they'll be installing a lot of alcantara a lot of carbon fiber she will be a one seater but we want to maintain a nice looking cabin. I don't even know if that's possible, but we're going to try our best. So yeah, we was going to get the car painted, but these guys said, no, nah, let's get the interior done. I've spec the most ridiculous engine. I'm really, really excited to actually show the spec on that engine. We'll be four wheel driving the car at some point, installing the new gearbox. But at this point, I am waffling. I just want to say thank you to everyone that still stays tuned in to the channel. I know I've been very quiet. No really been up to much i had an attempted break-in at the unit recently a couple of people i'm not sure if they were trying to steal cars they got into my porsche but yeah obviously the alarm we've got like seven eight cameras there's, there's 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 a lot of security but we now have a vehicle that patrols the unit so you had that little issue apart from that just spending time with family focusing on the company as you can see we've got a lot of cars behind i've got a really really cool car back there that's a b7 audi rs4 which is running a rear-mounted turbocharger. That the car is bonkers. Usually you supercharge these things, but that one's turbocharged. We've got the craziest 1967 Fastback Mustang back there as well. That's 625 or seven liter V8. Listen, I've got so much content that I need to do, but um, yeah, we're, we're doing a lot, man. I've also got a company I'm about to launch, so there'll be some content on that at some point. And you know, hopefully you guys watching are being sensible and prioritizing uh, more important things also. But anyway, I'm back to doing content, so I'll see you very soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 